welcome back to 99 games today we want to make a scene in unity and what we will do at first i would like to use the universal render pipeline right here and you can if you are in your unity hub now choose the location where you want to have your uh, project saved and a project name let's call it environment tutorial okay perfect and now we can hit create Okay, and here we are back and we have a little problem on the side right here I will just quickly save up my scene that's pretty important and close it and open it up again so here we are back and now you see it was just like a new start of unity sometimes helps <laughs> you see that okay so let's go to scenes we are in our forest scene right here and we have some things we want to um, you know bring into our uh, project and these are a few assets so you can go to the asset store to purchase them. I have links down below. Um, I will try to get a free alternative for all of the paid assets as well. Um, and in our package manager, we can find them then. Um, but the thing is, uh, these are affiliate links. So, you know, if you buy something there, I get a small percentage of it um, to make sure that I can run and now more often upload videos here <laughs> on this channel. Um, okay, so my assets. Oh, I need to sign in. I'm signed out because this is more like my old PC right here. So there are four assets that we want to download. Not all of them cost something, but three of them. <laughs> the first thing I want to add to our project is in this case, we need somehow a sky. So I want to add the all sky pre 10 sky boxes here. You see that you get 10 of the sky boxes just for free. It's so awesome. They look so good. So let's just import them. If you haven't downloaded, it for another project before you have to press download then it will download of course and here in this case we just can import it and now there's the time to grab a coffee because that can take some time okay that was pretty quick another thing that we want to add is the easy uh, character movement that's a paid asset the character movement um to just uh for prototyping this is, is just perfect you can just throw in a uh, first person controller and just walk around the scene it is so easy so import a complete project will override your current project settings okay so let's just import everything we you know i don't care okay so next up i want to search for my next asset and that is the forest environment so I just search for forest and you see here forest environment dynamic nature. I really, really like this pack. I just played around with it before a little bit and it's really amazing. So let's download it. I haven't uh, used it on this PC and you see the size is three gigs, around three and a half gigs. I have to wait a little bit. It depends of course of your internet um, and we do the next. And you see this is a process that can take quite some time. So, okay. And last but not least, let's add the prefab painter. Let's see what we got here. Prefab Painter 2. Y you don't have to use it, but I think it makes life just a little bit easier. And so I just use it. Uh, now we can close up our window up here. So the package manager, because we don't need it anymore. Okay, so now that we have all of our assets installed uh, or implemented in our project, you'll see we got some issues with the materials right here. That can happen. Um, we are on the universal render pipeline and uh, maybe one of the assets made some changes in our settings. So let's at first go to edit to our project settings. Okay, and I'll see right here under the graphics tab. You know, we have different tabs here and on the graphic tabs, we have no render pipeline assets. Hmm. So we need our universal render pipeline high quality right here, double click it. Okay, and now we can go out. And you see, wow, that looks good. We have some kind of issues. Pink, oh, you see, now they are upgrade. Okay, it just takes some time. So not a problem. Now that we have everything set up so far, let's go to our scenes folder here in our assets and let's create just a new scene. Okay, so here we go and let's call it forest because we will make a forest scene. <laughs> we can double click on it and we don't need to save something here. And you see now we got rid of this pink problem. It just took some time. Okay, so here we are on an empty scene. We just have our main camera and our sun. So the first thing I want to do is I want to add the terrain. So we need some kind of ground for our forest. So let's right click on our hierarchy, game object, 3D object, and we want to make a terrain. There we go, down here. 
and you see it's huge it's it's just massive we don't need that much of a space so what i want to do is i want to go to my brushes up here so if you are on the train and then on your um inspector you see this brushes and we can set the height so here on the drop down menu set height and i want to go to maybe like 10k so we can flatten all so why have i done that you will see if we now let's say uh, raise or lower our, our terrain you see okay we can raise it up infinite and if we want to lower it so click shift you see it's just going to zero it's not going uh, deeper than that and that's a problem if we would have it on zero we couldn't you know make holes like this for maybe a lake or for a swamp or whatever okay next thing i want to do is i want to paint a texture um and I, at first i want to add a texture so let's see what we have right here uh, with the asset packs there come some of these so we can just have a look at all of them so the leaves look pretty cool yeah let's go with the leaves for now and you see we have all the way up we have our leaves here and oh yeah and we need to of course make it a little bit uh, smaller so we have a terrain width and a length of a thousand so a hundred is just enough for our purposes maybe you need more for your game but in this case let's go with 100 by 100 it looks really small uh, in comparison to before but you will see that's really enough space okay so now let's go back to our brushes and we want to add it uh, or not create a new layer sorry we want to add a new layer now I want to go with the we have the leaves I want to go with the moss as well okay and we can now use our brush and go up with the brush size to here and there oh, the opacity. oh we need to select one of these um, and go down with the opacity a lot I, I like to go with maybe 0 0.3 or something Okay, and we can just slowly draw and you see that it's coming slowly towards this moss okay so uh, we can of course use another brush that's a little bit more like um, textured and maybe we can go with a little bit of more opacity right here just like this you see I just I just throw in a little bit of this um, moss texture and to just see if it looks good cool if we are you know in game what we can do is i want to add a player so we have downloaded the, the character player so the movement package so the asset so what we can do is let's f uh, search for our first you know first person player so we just type in first and you see here a prefab ecm first person controller i just throw it in randomly and let's have a look first thing is you know the ground looks great so far i would like to add a little bit more of well now maybe for for this it's it's just fine okay um the next thing we want to do is i want to um you know have some kind of a mountain on the sides right here so the player will not you know uh, be able to walk outside of our scene at least on this sides right here we don't need it on all of the sides since this is not like a real game but you should have natural bounds to your game of course so we can think you're on the edges yeah let, let's do it just like on all of the sides see that and I want to have a swamp so what I want to do as well is oh, let's make it a little bit smaller I don't want to have a big kind of swamp um, so let's just go down here you see we just can reach zero so you see that down here that is we, we can't go deeper than that and we need water for this hole so this is something i would like to add right now just in the beginning we will continue with the um other stuff just in a second but i want to add a 3d object and that will be a plane you see that beautiful with w you can uh, choose your moving tool okay and with r we can make it bigger so we have this uh, scale tool and with e we can rotate it but we don't need it right now okay so you see this element has a mesh, re a mesh renderer and it is a lit so a lit material we want to go with the ARRM swamp material um, we have this kind of uh, lake this kind of other lake yeah we of course need uh, to before we use our package right here should go to the uh, natural manufacturing um, assets we have the forest environment right here, HD and URP. And let's just install the URP package.
so here we go that looks great right so uh, first thing I want to do uh, right now is before we go back to our um, terrain let's see let's have a look at it um, in game it's pretty dark and we see it's having some kind of rendering problems right here you see that okay okay so what we can do get rid of this black water down here is we can go to our project settings and we have our high oh down here you see when you click on it it will open your settings it's a universal render pipeline okay let's close it again and let's go to the game view and you see down here it's black so the water's still black um there's one setting that i would like to change um and that is the depth texture you see that turn it on turn on the opaque texture opaque looks a little bit better we can just play around now with our um with our settings right here so you see there we can make it really green that could look cool for an old school kind of game <laughs> but not for us um i want to go more towards a bluish kind of direction you know more like this and we have a lot a lot of settings with this you see that we can play around with the um different settings for this water for example so now we have a better looking kind of uh water okay now this is a pretty boring scene so far okay uh we, we need to give it a lot more life at first i would like to go to my lightning settings again i'm not 100 percent happy with the skybox so maybe we want to go more towards this um okay not towards the night night is too much i want to be in the middle of the night but okay oh this could work as well so it's uh, like this golden hour okay so <clears throat> like this and now we can go back to our directional light just increase it slowly okay just like this and i would like to go with it more like it's this orange kind of look like this maybe a little bit too uh, extreme and so let's just choose the color we have right oh this is too, too much just too much yeah that's better and we can bring up the uh the the intensity to maybe one uh, let's just have a quick look um what it would look like okay it looks really really weird skybox so maybe we should go just with this one right here it's a little bit yeah it's a little bit better and uh, the directional light of course should now be um more like this white kind of color maybe even more like towards this well yeah towards this and I would like to maximize on play again. So here we go. Let's have a look. Um, so the water looks quite okay. Could be more detailed, I think. Okay, let's have a look. So we will have, you know, to change it a little bit. So we have our directional light just right here. And you see, it's coming from this direction. You see, the lines right here show the direction. Where is the sun? Sun is right there. So we can do is let's just spin it a little bit so i want to place it just in front of the light and just rotate it towards our scene yeah just like this you see that um <clears throat> makes it makes more sense and from the top let's see from the top where's the light coming from i think it's just like this side okay and let's just bring it to the side right here okay perfect i would like to go more even more towards this uh, pink purple kind of color um, and the intensity could be a little bit more because it's still it's still pretty light it's, it's not like that that late and you see now from the top view we can now add a good amount of, um, of trees so we have our trees already and on our terrain we have some options up here so well, let's change to this tree icon right here and let's go to you know you see no trees defined okay so let's edit the trees and add a tree um, and here are the three prefab since we have some of our um, assets installed let's just quickly search for tree let's have a look this looks cool this looks cool it's somehow pink we will see in a minute if we will have some problems yes we have some pro no we don't have oh you see it just takes a while okay so let's just place some trees let's see we are here around the swamp and up here there we will have some trees 
pretty random. We can here um, on the settings for the tree, we can also um, set the tree height a bit more, you know, just like this. So the variance between the heights of the trees is a little bit bigger. See that this tree is bigger than this. This one is way smaller again. And we can add just another tree. So just search for tree again. See, it's so easy to make good looking scene pretty quickly. I mean, it, it's at the moment not looking good, but uh, you get the point, right? Okay, let's have just another tree. Let's see, well, what, what can we do? Do we have something that looks a little bit different? So a little bit special more? I think this down here, this is an interesting shape. I don't know why we don't see it really good. So let's, ah, oh, you see that, that looks cool. So it's more like a few smaller trees. And let's have a look in game right now. Let's walk around a bit. And you see, we just placed this object. So, so this tree is here and see, the roots are on the uh, not on the ground and it looks all a little bit off maybe a little bit dark so the gradient to the water here is okay but on this side right here we can walk on the water it looks like it's cut off too hard in my opinion okay so what we can do is we can at first i think we could maybe change everything a bit but later more on that uh, from the lightning settings again i'm not 100 percent happy with that still not what we can do right here Mm, especially on this kind of trees just like here you see that little tree so we have some gaps just right here we could leave it like it is right now if we want to we don't have to fix it <laughs> of course we don't have to do anything but let's just do it so let's add it some details and let's add a detail mesh because uh, the grass that we have in our pack is is you know imagine not the just the texture so let's uh, typing grass and you see we have a lot of different kind of grasses let's just for example oh we need to add it oh and the color should not be that vibrant i think we should go down like this and the um secondary color maybe a little bit more towards orange and we can add this kind of grass let's see what's happening if we settings opacity so what we can do is let's um open this prefab um and make a new prefab so drag it out here and we have a new copy of it okay so now we can delete this one and let's test it okay so we can just grab this and bring it in here oh and you see it's working so that was the problem with the um lod groups with the grass or with this detail thing right here the only thing that's now <laughs> very interesting is that we have some kind of lines let's see Okay, so now we, oh, opacity needs to be a little bit bigger. Okay, that was the target strength. So um, let's bring this really down. Okay, so I want to have this right here. And now you see we can place some grass and we can even cover. Okay, here it's a little bit too small. And what we can do as well is we can go with the maximum um, width and with the maximum height a little bit. So we are a little bit more, you know, different. Okay, so you see we can add grass and I would like to go with a little bit of a bigger brush here because we want to have quite a lot of grass but I want to go down with the opacity even more like you see we, we just have a really low opacity and still there's a lot of grass if we um, just go over it and you see step by step be careful with that that could you know with the performance wise it could, could get different <laughs> uh, difficult um, if you just add more and more grass, don't wonder if um, you will have some issues with the performance. Let's have just a quick look at it. See how it looks. Oh yeah, so far. It's pretty high grass. I think the, yeah, the, the wind is too strong for that one. I don't like that the wind is so strong. Honestly, I just want to have really, really, really little. Um, because in this area right here, we have the mountains all on the side so there will not be too much um wind so let's go to our um, settings up here for our terrain and the wind settings for grass on terrain data let's go down a lot and let's go down with the size a lot i i really really just want to be oh man not not really even wind okay just yeah that's just fine that's just enough 
Okay, it's moving, you see that, but not too much. Okay, beautiful. And next up, I want to add just a little bit of variance to the grass. So we have one grass right here. So let's add a detail mesh again. And let's search for grass. And the thing is, you will see, we will face the same problem like before. So we need to search for grass, uh, open up the prefab and so on. Okay, this looks cool. We see it down here. What is this? No, that is not what I'm searching for. Yeah, that looks cool. I like that. So this is the uh, prefab terrain grass 014. Grass, what was it, 40? Oh no, I forgot it. 01. <laughs> so let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's see what grass is. One. No, 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 that's not. What is this one? Yeah, that looks, that, that's it, right? <laughs> so let's have this LOD group um, right here. Drag it in right here, you see it. Now we can just um, unpack it. Now let's get to our assets and we can, <clears throat> where's our, here we go. Here, uh, we can bring it in here, grab it and delete it. And now on our terrain, we can add a new detail, detail mesh. You see that right here? We can just drag it in here, drag and drop. Um, maximum width, maximum height, a little bit up, maybe to three. I like to have a little bit more of variance. Um, I like to go with the more towards the blue dark. And in this case, a little bit lighter, just like this. Let's see what how that will look. Um, and add it. We can we can add it later. Oh yeah, that looks pretty cool. Uh, so let's oh there's a density. So it's way too much. We will get serious problems with the um, performance. So the opacity should go down. Okay, you see, even that's too much. So let's go the one again. I think that's just fine. No, looks good. Okay, so we have our little scene right now here. Um, and now what we can do as well is we can go to our windows. So to the N tools and to the prefab painter and open it up. So we have a new window. So this is our prefab painter. So the asset that we can use for it. So let's click on plus up here. And now we have a new tab here. I want to add a new brush with some uh, details. So what we get, we have the uh, here on our project. Let's see what we have for different things. So we have, I would like to go with the mushrooms at first. So let's search for the prefabs of the mushrooms. Okay, let's start with one, okay? We can make a multi brush, okay? And we bring all of them in here. So this is now our multi brush. So now we can use our brush up here, you see that? And very simply, here we go with our brush. The radius could be a little bit bigger, yeah, just like this. You see, we place automatically some mushrooms here and there. You see that? They they don't appear too big because they are pretty small. But you see how quickly we can add some random mushrooms here and there. You see that? Looks amazing. And let's see it in game. You see here we have some mushrooms here. That looks good. Okay. Now I want to make just a new... Um, okay, let's delete all of them at first. So let's delete. Um, I want to make just another one. So um, I want to bring in some more stones. So we have the rocks right here, the prefabs. Let's start with just one of them inside here. Let's make this to a multi brush. And let's add all of the others as well. Okay, just like this. Now we go to our brush tool again. And we can place single ones. Um, so I want to... Um, Turn it a little bit, so we have a little bit of uh, different settings here. So like the scale, we can have the minimum scale and the maximum scale. Maybe we set it to like five or something. And you see, we can add even more variety to it. Okay, so add this. You see, this one is bigger. This one, oh, this one is bigger as well. And you see how easily we can, within minutes, make just a great looking scene with this prefab paint. I'm really, I, I used it sometimes and I really like it. And the good thing is, see up here, it's using uh, folders for it. So you now can see all the mushrooms. So all that we have done with this prefab brush is in one folder. And the other one, so all the stones are in this folder. So we have a lot, of, it's really it's really an easy job. Very, it's a little bit random. Of course you have not that much of, um, you know, control of, of, about it because for sure it, it's uh, a little bit random if you <laughs> say it should be random. So now what I would like to do as well is I would like to have this rock right here on the sides right here. And since we will not be too close to it, we can drag it up a lot. If we go too close to it, 
with the player, we would see that the um, texture wouldn't look too good. So don't do that with stuff that you want to um, have close to the player. <laughs> that wouldn't be a good idea. But for now, for example, here you see that. So let's turn. Where, where is it? There we go. There are the stones. So you don't see too big of a problem. But if we go closer to it, you will see that the texture is just too small. You see that? It's blurry. It looks not that good. Yeah, it's just like don't do that too close to the player. That, that's all I wanted tell you right here. So now just another one. So what I would like to do as well is I would like to add a little bit of um, a bridge. So we have some bridges in our um, if you if you grab the same as a pack um, in our you know as a pack right here and we can just let's see we have th four four different different ones okay so this looks cool let's place them next to each other I just want to have I want just to compare them and let's see which one is the best I think this one is the best right here because we can just uh, make it longer <laughs> just like this okay so let's just turn it and let's bring it all the way to the other side okay if you now double click here up here on the bridge it will zoom in the bridge a little bit better so it makes life a little bit easier Okay, I want it to be a little bit in the ground right here. Okay, copy it and paste it and bring it over to the side. Okay, yeah, but you see it looks pretty cool. So, um, as you see, it doesn't really um, affect the overall scene. We have, yeah, you know, we have this gap right here. It's not 100%, but that's what we have to work with. I really like it, but I don't want to have this kind of a lightning situation, really. I just want to have a really light color um, for our yeah, overall look. And for that, I want to go with our directional light just right here. Let's change it to more towards this yellowish kind of. Yeah, look at this. I think that, you know, for this forest, that makes more sense in this case. It looks more like a summer scene. See that? I like it a lot more. Okay, so now I just restarted Unity again. Sometimes that happens. Bad day one when it comes to this, but see that? Looks pretty cool. I think the dirt ground is not perfect for this because we have this grass mm, kind of look. What I would like to do is I would like to, let's see, um, just another texture, paint texture. I want to add, oh, not create a texture. We, we have some, so let's just add it. I want to have grass plants, okay? Um, because I think with this grass, we need a little bit of a more like green kind of look underneath the grass. And what I would like to have as well is I would like to have a little path that goes towards the side. So we have a cool looking um, texture. This right here, that looks really cool, the stone. So let's go down with the brush size and just let's... Oh, again, I have to take this. Now you see, we can make a path just going this way. Maybe here and going up here. Something like this, okay. And what we have to do, of course, is we have to go to our um, plants right here, or to our details. And with our brush, let's undo all of it. Okay, so opacity to one. So we just see the path a little bit better. I mean, there could be maybe a few our leaves on top of it or grass but not that much okay oh and i want to have this one here this i don't like it okay you see that looks pretty cool okay so let's just hop into the game into the scene okay you see that going down here that looks a little bit weird but it's okay and you see it looks somehow cool if you let's let's say this is our view okay so here i want this as our um and you know goal what i would like to do as well now is uh, to add a little bit more interesting stuff to to the whole scene we can add particles let's see particles is this the right one yeah i think so uh, so let's have some dust particles going on just right here you see that what kind of particles here and that's a great thing with these uh, kind of uh acid packs you just can play around with them you can just have fun with them if you like to Let's see what's 
if this is enough. Yeah, it's a little bit of dust. I like it. It's cool. I don't want to have more than that. It's just, just, just fine. Okay. So now let's go to our main camera. So we have our first person character here. And on our main camera, I want to turn on the post processing. And what we can do then is we go to our uh, hierarchy, game object, volume, and I want to add a global volume. I make a new one, so the profile right here. And I want to add an override. So we can add a little bit of bloom. Bloom, you will see that will. Let's, let's zoom out a bit. You know, you see that shine? We'll add a little bit of shine to all of this stuff. So that's cool. And we have a lot of different stuff we can add right here. So color adjustments and so on. So depth of field. I love depth of field, okay? Just love it. Um, let's turn on the Gauss, uh, Gaussian. And let's, let's see here in the game view. We now will see, okay, that's maybe a little bit extreme. So the end will be later and the start will be later as well. So maybe back there, you see that? What it's doing, you can play around with the settings. So I want to, want it to start back there. I want to have it not that extreme. Let's make high quality sampling. Okay, and let's add another overview. What I would like to add as well is a tone mapping. Look at the colors. Okay, so turn it on, mode, and go to Aces. And now look at the colors. It's more in depth. Okay, it, it looks really, really more in depth. And now we, of course, have to maybe change a little bit the lightning, so the directional light, and you see if we bring it up, it looks pretty cool. Um, we, we could maybe even go more towards, now green is a little bit weird in this case, maybe towards orange. That looks immediately awesome. Just have a look at this. Let's go to our position, like here, this way. Oh man, I love it. I, I just, it's, it's awesome. What I would like to have as well is we have this, you know, really close grass to us. You see that close grass? Let's bring that. Uh, let, let's make it um, blurred as well, like the background. And um, how do we do that? We have this depth of field. Let's go to bouquet, okay? And uh, let's let's see what's doing. Let's go to the same situation, position, you see that? You see it's a little bit blurry also when we are close to something. And now we can play around with the settings. So the focal length, uh, the focus distance should be, um, you know what, I want to um, bring the camera, let's bring the camera somewhere else, somewhere more like here where we have it in front. So we have the same situation that we want to achieve, you know, because we have a very close grass to us. So let's go to global volume again and let's play with the focus length. You see that? And now we can just see what is just in front of us. Now we can see the bridge. I think this is just perfect. Just maybe, maybe just like this. Okay, and now let's go with a little bit more with the focal length. And just like this. Okay, and you see now if we go in here, this grass is a little bit blurry as well and the background as well. That looks cool, right? Um, that of course, decreases the performance a lot so take uh, care of that as well so if you want to have something that will run on every machine or on a mobile just don't do that okay <laughs> we can of course add motion blur as well with a quite a lot of intensity quality Let, let's go with high why not you can play with the settings um let's see if my computer will uh just be okay with it yeah yeah okay he will i mean it's a pretty old computer but see that that adds even a lot more to the scene. Our situation is like this. We see that, oh man, that looks so amazing. I, I really, really like the look so far. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I just would like to, you know, that is almost the image that we want to achieve. So let's, let's see, just like this, like this. So I want this part to be like very nice. Okay, so this view, something like this should be pretty good. And I think the um, uh, depth of field should be a little bit, focal length should be a bit more. Okay, just like this. Just like this, I think that's perfect. Okay, let's see. Yep, that's just, just okay, just, just nice. I want to have a big kind of um, stone in the middle right here of the, yeah, I want to say lake, but it's more like a swamp. So let's bring up the size. 
bring it up. Let's see, where is it? Okay, that, that looks cool. And I want not to, uh, you know, now I'm in the space of the, uh, I move it in the space of the um, stone itself. But I want the stone to move, you know, like on the x-axis and so on. Okay, so I go here, up here from local to global. So now I can move it in the global space. That's, for me, now way better. Okay, let's make it a little bit smaller, just like this. So we have a pretty big stone in there. That looks cool. Let's have a look. Okay, or we can enter this water right here. Yeah, that looks cool. Okay, but here we see that. Okay, just let's go to the, our path right here. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. So, we can of course add more and more overrides right here. Can I add all of them? But I think that's a little bit too much at the end. Let's let's just have a little bit of color adjustments. Okay, I want to bring up everything a bit. It's a little bit lighter. I like like it to be like more like a summer kind of look. Okay, so the um, contrast. We could bring it up just a touch. Color filter. We can of course go more towards the orange, but I think yeah, now that looks not really nice. So let's. We can have a hue shift and we can bring up the saturation a little bit, just a touch. Really, you can overdo stuff like this so quickly. Um, do yourself a favor and don't do it too much. The only thing that I want to add n now is um, the uh, shadows should be a little bit more towards the blue. You see that? So now the shadows are bluer. Um, and let's bring up the shadows a bit, just like this, and more towards the blue. And the highlights can go more towards the yellow. So this is a little bit of more of a natural look and let's have a look if this is too much. No, I like the color so much at the moment. It's a good contrast, so I like it. What we could do right now is let's add just some more details. Okay, so let, now let's play the um, scene to have a closer look if, if everything looks cool. Okay, so I think the stamp itself adds a lot to the view that we have right here. On the other side, we need a lot more um, here up here. I think we need to add some more stones. Um, I would like to go back to this. Here we have our rocks, prefabs. Do we have... Oh, like, let's go to... Window or uh, end tools prefer painter. Oh, I have the rock right here. See that? So I like to add a lot more rocks. So, and we could go on with that, of course. Go on and go on. We could add more uh, like assets. I think we should change the um, rocks right here because they, if you, if you would do it really for a game, because they are, you know, the textures are not perfect. Uh, we have all all the same look on all the other stuff, but you know what? It doesn't matter too much right now. So we have a cool summer swamp scene right here. I have some courses on Udemy. I will link them in the description. They are more about pixel art and drawing an axe and a sword. But uh, so two pixel art courses. <laughs> um, but you know, I, I thought maybe I can just link them down below. <laughs> Anyways, I will have another channel for my uh, art stuff. I will I will make another channel because I realize that if I make art stuff on this channel and do nothing with uh, Unity, I lose viewers, I lose um, subscribers, and that's a bad thing. I really want to uh, bring this up, this channel. Okay, I want. I I, I mean, this is my main job at the moment, not not the YouTube channel, but making games and game art. So um, I really have to scale this up a lot to. Um, continue with it and I hope I see you in the next time please subscribe to the channel that would help a lot leave a like um you know again the assets are linked down below and so on so I see you next time bye